So it's been a long time since I vlogged, but today I am leaving the apartment with an actual purpose. I am going shoe shopping and so I thought that I would bring you with me. Well, let me specify, I'm not actually going shoe shopping, uh, but I am going to try on shoes. What happened was that earlier this month for Veterans Day, it's the end of November now, a shoe brand called um, Cecilia New York posted on their Instagram that they would give 100 pairs of shoes, so one shoe per person for the first 100 women who posted a photo of themselves in a uniform, military uniform, on Instagram and tag uh, the brand Cecilia New York. And so I did. And what do you know? They came through and I won a pair of shoes. I ordered a size seven and a half, which is, well, I based it on another pair of Cecilia New York boots that I already had. And I think that they might be about half a size too large. But then I found out that Nordstrom, which is open its very first store in New York City just a month ago, carries Cecilia New York. So I'm gonna go to Nordstrom and I am going to try a size seven and see if that's better. And if that is better, then I'm gonna go ahead and request an exchange directly from Cecilia New York. This will also give me an opportunity to check out Nordstrom because I haven't been and like I said it's their first one in New York City and it is their new flagship store so that is very exciting. Let's go. my life I mean these are the shoes I'm here to really buy no just kidding I think these are men's shoes anyway this is the Louboutin tent okay we're here for real now these are the boots the furry bit is just stuck inside so let's find somebody who can get them for me and try them on okay so this place is called the shoe bar and it's not just a name like, I don't know, the place in Midtown that calls itself a dental bar, it's a dentist, like there's an actual bar. These are the wines. And in this one, I couldn't tell whether these were the years or the prices, that's how high some of them were. So if you like shoe shopping and you like getting drunk, you can just do them at the same time. I didn't actually take much footage of me in the shoes because she didn't leave me alone for a second but I do think that I'm going to size down to the seven because those feel much better on my feet than the seven and a half and uh, I'm going to do that directly through Cecilia New York because that's where I got them these are not the, the expensive designer shoes but look at these they are blue and pink depending on how you turn them and they are so pretty oh my gosh i want them so badly they are amazing maybe i should wait till the manila blanic boutique closes um in december and see if they have them on sale i have a shoe problem people okay i had to try them on because they are absolutely amazing and you can't really tell in this mirror but they are stunning and they are also a nordstrom exclusive so they wouldn't have them at the boutique I mean, it matches my sweatpants and it matches my shirt. And by it, I mean they. Oh my gosh, I, like, my heart is beating so fast right now. These shoes are so beautiful.
shoes. <laughs> that was a bit unexpected, but the hard ones were the hard ones. And um, I couldn't leave them there. They were desperate. They were crying out to me to liberate them from that store. So that's what I did. And now we go eat. Okay, so I'm filming on my phone now because my camera died. But after Nordstrom, we thought we'd come to the Noah Blanick to see some shoes. And I knew that the store was going to be closing at the end of this year, but I thought it would be in December. But we came and it's closed. They permanently closed. And my friends, this is sad. This is the end of the year. And I know I'm being like ter terribly dramatic here, uh, but the store is closed. Uh, for girls my age who were Sex in the City fans, this is terrible news. But, like, when Little Blanick as a whole is not shutting down, just the, the one Little Blanick on the TV, you can still buy the shoes at the stores. But my heart is very sad at this moment. And we couldn't eat because there was a long ass line at Black Tab, so now we're gonna go somewhere else and I'm gonna cry into a bowl of soup. And it's gonna be a phase walk. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.